I've got an incredible tool for you all to check out if you're a streamer or a content creator on YouTube or Twitch, or if you even have a Patreon. This is a game changer. So it is called Mercury by Stream Elements. Now you're just gonna log in with your Stream Elements account like your YouTube or your Twitch account. And then you're gonna come to the dashboard. It's gonna show you whatever you are logged into. Go down here to dynamic banner. This is actually new for them, but you can actually make a banner dynamic on your YouTube channel. I'm just gonna show you real quick. I have a background. I'm gonna add a layer, just a milestone. Uh, let's see, let's edit this. First step is uh, 2000. Last step is gonna be 10,000. So there we go, that's the subscribers. So apparently this will change every single time you get like new subs. So once you get to that 4K mark or whatever you set it to, it will have that as blue. So I like all this, I'm gonna keep it. Go back here, add a layer, let's add a text layer. Gonna move it up here, make it a little bit smaller and then put it right here in the middle. Put something like, let's get to 4,000 subs. Then kind of move this over a, a little bit, right into the middle of it. And then boom, I don't think you really need anything else. Maybe you wanna add another text layer just so that you can have your name. Mine is GS Sphere, as you guys already know. GS Sphere, make it a little bit smaller. You can change the font, you can change everything like the line height and everything like that, if you would like to. So there we go, not bad for an actual banner. So let's go ahead and preview this. Show save zone. So this is what it's gonna look like on a TV. This is what it's gonna look like on mobile. I'd say that's actually pretty perfect. Let's save that. So that's one little thing that Mercury by Stream Elements actually offers. So it is now rendering it and we could actually apply it to our YouTube channel right now. Let's go ahead and see the other things that they have. Let's go to the Shoutout Studio. Now the Shoutout Library is basically what you're seeing at the bottom of my screen, the newer subscribers for whether since your last video, the last month, the last week, they also have Discord and Patreon functionality. As you see, members, if you are a YouTube partner, or Patreon backers or Discord members. So say somebody joins your Discord, you could actually set it up to where it will show that person, thank you to my supporters. So time per name, you could change it if you want it faster or slower. You can have a certain amount of names. You can have it since last video, since past week, since past month or all. I don't really suggest doing all cause that can get kind of a uh, lot of crazy. Let's go to the design. We can change the primary color, the secondary color, and then the message and the text. So once we do that, we just basically hit save shout out and then it'll create it over here. So then you just hit render. Once you hit render, it'll take about two to three minutes to render it. And then if you use OBS studio or Streamlabs OBS or any of the broadcasting softwares, you can just plug it into it. You can also plug it into DaVinci Resolve or anything like that because it is a .mov file. It's that simple to add a really, really nice addition and nice thank you to your fans. So there's also tipping settings and stuff like that, connections, I haven't really dealt with that too much, but I hope this video did help you. This is very, very cool and I suggest you look into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.